Hello and welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. Elon Paul here with your World's One playthrough. We are going to continue today's mission with actually getting back to Artemis and Apollo. And we're about to start those missions back up again. So in our log, we're going to make sure this is selected. We are supposed to install his personal force field in our uh, laser over here. Um, our car, pardon me, our multi-tool. Let's just put it in. I'm not going to keep it here. I don't particularly care for it. I do need a wiring loom, though. Hmm. And you know what? We should have had a ton of wiring looms. I don't know why we don't have any. Let's go get a bunch of wiring looms, which we can, I think, get from here. Let's find out. Checking, checking. No wiring looms. Hey, we got dioxide in here, though. That's good. Platinum. Exosuit upgrade charts. Fantastic, if we needed them. Uh, nice. Nice. Got some good stuff in here. I haven't checked this terminal yet. Let's get the ferrite dust. Always use more of that. We're always running low. Okay, so we need wiring loops. Okay, we need to head to the space station for that. Let's pick up at the space station. I don't know why it flips me around it, but it does. It likes to. Uh, current system. There we go. And it'll only take me a few seconds to get there. And we'll just take off from here when we leave. There we go. Trade terminal. And there's our wiring. So, okay, let's grab a few of these. I'm going to put them in my starship. I'm going to grab like 10 of them. So it's very expensive, as you can see. But, you know, with 200 million, I did think we can afford... You know what? Let's get 30 of them. There we go. That looks good. Anything else we need? Chromatic metal. Why, yes, I will. And you know what? Let's get the dioxide. And let's put some uranium in our inventory on our ship. Yeah, that's really good. We could use all of that. So, good, good, good. All right, happy with that. Now, um, that's completed. We just need to put that in now. So let's put our force field in. And then wait for it to complete. Give it a moment. Objective updated. What is it doing? Uh, we got to go to an abandoned building and look for stuff. Okay. Okay, we can do that. Um, abandoned buildings. Let's get a chart. Think. I think we can do this. Specific. Okay, alien, no. This. Let's get three of these. There we go. Actually, we should put it in our starship. There we go. Okay. So, what you want to do... I got three of them purposely, because there's three different things you can find. You can find a crashed ship, of course, a crashed freighter, and then an abandoned building. So, we want to do it all three. Ah! We got it, we got it on the first shot. Let's go. Where it be? It's to the right. On that planet there. Okay, that's fine. It's not too far away, so we'll go ahead and do it. Really cool the fact that I've got... This system is neat for the main reason that most of the planets are nearby. Including even that planet out there in the distance. That's even really not that far away. So I'm really glad that the system is kind of tight, if you will. go and the door is right there good there we go just want to change over to the laser because we might need it okay we don't need the eggs I'm gonna ignore those but this is just in case there happens to be a uh, something in here that'll ooh damage machinery I'll take it Okay, got a bunch of nanites from it. Let's grab some resources while we're in here. Uh, looks like we can get a word while we're at it. Good. Uh, there's a terminal we need to go to. That's fine. Gonna go there. Anything else on these walls? No. Okay, go to the terminal. Get rid of the residual goop. 
What does it have to say? Returning a user identified terminal now active, unlocking data log, continuation for analysis. Recorded message from an unknown user, notices in yellow. I found a body. It's unlike anything I've ever seen. If there's a species like it, then I hope they're all dead like this one. At first, I thought it's some tragic remnant of a matter of transfer text malfunction, a uh, cage of bones and flesh studded with random patterns of crooked teeth and roomy, uh, lidless eyes, but no. Some horror of twisted evolution, warped by cruel nature. I can't help but picture what it would have looked like alive, and cannot help but fear that it will live again. Very interesting. Keep that in mind. I discover something coded deep inside the long dead traveler's log. Something has been left that will aid me in my journey. And usually it's nanites, and as you can see, I just got 135 nanites, and that should be what it was looking for. Very tech. Let me just see if I can get it here. I want to grab it. Because it's here. Good. Alright. Now what? Yeah, I just did. Oh, great. It's going to take me to a different location, I hope. Alright, it did. Which is over... Where? It's over that way. Okay. So it wants me to go to a different building. Apparently this way was not good enough. It says approximate. So I'm guessing that's this location here. Yep, what do you know? Another abandoned building. Well, okay, so that method didn't work properly. Kind of backfired a little bit. No big deal. Okay, same thing. Let's pick stuff up as we go. There's the terminal we want to go to, but we're going to pick things up while we're here. Looks familiar, doesn't it? Sometimes you get an upgrade out of these things, so... Most of the time it's just nanites. This looks identical to the last place we were just at. Isn't that funny? Okay, let's grab this too while we're here. Like almost completely identical. There we go. Okay. And if we're gonna get the same story, let's find out. Turning user identified, terminal active, unlock your data log. The oceans here are blood. Nothing lives in them. They are alive themselves. Great protean life forms as large as continents, or perhaps there is only one of them. What does such a thing consume, I ask myself? The answer seems to be everything. I found evidence of past life here, but no signs of it. Does the native flora and fauna hibernate when it comes to eat them? Then return and repopulate once it retreats? I can feel it moving inside my brain, whispering. It wants me to discard my suit and swim. Whoa. I discover something coded deep inside the long dead traveler's data log. Something has been left that will aid me on my own journey. More nanites. Okay, that should do it. Now it's taking me to a multi tool mer merchant. Let's go ahead and go back to the space station. Off we go. We should be able to just hit it right away. Yep. There we go. Yep. Space station it is. So what it's doing is it's taking me there to get an upgrade for my multi-tool, which we don't really need, to be honest. What I need to get some of those crystallized hearts. Now that I'm getting strong enough as a character... I can probably go to a dissonant world and get some crystallized hearts so I can reopen up everything on that multi-tool. Love to get an Atlantid multi-tool or staff weapon, but we'll we'll make do with what we've got. There we go. We have to get something. So we will. Don't understand anything he's saying. Offer the nanite clusters, and he gives me an upgrade. An S-Class upgrade to boot, and it's for a bowcaster. Well, that's cool. Um, I appreciate that. Where's my bowcaster? There it is. Doesn't help me any, because I can't put it over there. And I'm out of room, aren't I? Well, we're going to unload this anyway. Let's move you down here, put you over here. 
and our Oscar's upgrade can go over there, and that increases our damage potential now. We really need to open these up. Do we have a multi-tool upgrade yet? I don't know. Don't think... Oh, yeah, we do. We do have one. Hmm. All right. We'll have to do, uh, think about upgrading my multi-tool at one point. What, what class is it, anyways? Is that still C? Yeah, it is. Okay, we'll have to upgrade the class before we can do that. All right, moving on. Okay, let's see here. Uh, let's see, so we need to go back in here. Let's see, so we turn the state... Okay, so we got to go to space now. And go over to... Get our communication going with our friend. There we go. You are not alone. I know you, Traveler. I know where you've been. I know where you're going. Psst. There is no need to hurry. Ask who they are. Psst. You will find us when the time is right. Yep. Yeah, I already know who that is, but it's not important right now. Okay. Here's our next message. There he is. Are you ready? Make sure you are. This job isn't going to be a small one. You might not be heading back to that base of yours for a while. Confirm. Good. Let the hunt begin. I've detected a Corvax installation on that world of yours. The interface in your transmissions is a dead give is a giveaway. It might be disguised in the style of another species, but don't be fooled. The synthetics delight in espionage. Point out Apollo is robotic. I'm not robotic. I was born, just like you were, but this is no world for flesh. My brain, what organs I have left, everything was transferred to this shell. This is who I am. Ask how it happened. I took my revenge when the time came. That is all you need to know. So, start from the hypo hypothesis that the Sentinels use their portals to get around. How do they activate it? We need to observe. We need to summon them. And what better way than to attack a secret Corvax factory? They are both robotic life forms. Too much in common. Too much coincidence. Enter the factory and hack the terminal within. If we gain data about the Sentinels, good. If not, we'll have summoned enough of them to trace any energy spikes on that world of yours. The portals will be ours in no time. Download facility location. Apollo nods at me. For the first time, I sense respect in their gesture. The approximate coordinates for the hidden facility are logged into my system's navigation computer. Okay. Oh, that's right there. Good. Looks like we're going to the cold planet again. And we're coming in. Now I'm going to keep these episodes a little bit shorter than usual. They're probably going to be about 40, 45 minutes now. There we go. Oh, right. Slow down. Scan. It's one all the way over there, but I don't think it's that far away. Interesting. Okay, well, we're not finding the facility. Okay, let's go over here. No, that's too far away. That's out in the water, for crying out loud. That's not it. And maybe you've seen it when you're watching the screen, but I surely do not. Oh, that's weird. Why didn't that show up before? Yep, that might be it. Oh, green. Landing pad. Take it. Alright. Is that it? 
Yep, that's it. Sure enough. Okay. Now, it's a secret facility, so I expect we've got some... Yep. Got a sentinel over there, so we're going to have to break in. You can only do it with a bolt caster. Alright, we're in. Good deal. Ooh, got some nanites we can get here while, while we're at it. Let's take a look around. Plants? No. No, no. You can sit in a chair, that's nice. Let's get some credits. Not much. A little over a thousand. Nice. Alright. So we want to go into here. Use a bolt cast to breach facility. Use ammunition be before beginning combat. I'm just recharging things. Hope you guys don't mind. I do want to get some more ammunition real quick. There we go. Alright, what does it say? Does it say to do anything? Yeah. Let's try going into this first. Oh, yeah, there's an icon over it. We're right where we need to be. Uh, chromatic metal. Your ferrite. Sodium. Zzzt. And you notice it's in green this time. Very interesting. Zzz, zzz. Terminal houses an upgrade module from Exosuit. However, I find few clues for Apollo. It seems the Corvax within left this world many days ago. Apparently recalled on a priority transmission to their species flotilla. Something has them worried. Probe to factory logs. This place seems to have been more than just a factory. It was a home to the Corvax who lived within its walls. It appears that they were experimenting with autonomy from their collective. Examine video feeds. One of the internal sensors has recorded movement within the facility. It shows me footage of the vents at my feet. There's something in here with me. Shine a light upon it. I shine a light on, upon it. <laughs> it is a small hairy creature, shaking and afraid. It cries out. The animal appears to have lived here for quite some time. There is a nest in the corner, vestiges of food upon a small dish, even a few clumps, clumsy toys and trinkets. The animal seems to have been a companion to the Corvax. My scanner tells me the creature is gravely ill. It will die, no matter what intervention occurs. We're going to feed him. I feed the creature. Nervously, it takes the carbon and begins to eat. A few moments later, it violently coughs up much of its little meal, only to try to continue the process, shivering with every mouthful. I move on from the factory complex, leaving the animal to its fate. Okay. 135. Good. What's next? Turn to space. Yes, sir. Uh-oh. Uh, are we really doing this? Well, let's see how we do. Oh, yeah. This is a very slow... slow weapon. And we're gonna have that laser on us soon. Plus him. There's a couple of them. Look at that. There we go. Now, oh, we're about to get damage here. Hey. All right. Let me see if we can get some uh, healing. Come on, shields. I want to get my shields to re recover here. Come on. They should be recovering by now, I thought. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There it goes. Now, can he see me? That's the thing. No, nope, this still says searching. So they can't see me under this overhang. Good. What I'm after is I'm after the upgrades. Oh, hi there. Started to take you out earlier, which is why you have damage. Good. Okay. 
Now it is really time for us to leave. I don't feel like... Oh, there he is. Taking on the quad. Because I don't think we can afford that right now. There we go. Good. Done. Excellent. We might get an, al an alert now. No? Okay. Take that. Oh, there it is. How many do we up to here? 50 sentinels, huh? Nice. Alright. Yeah, I didn't want to take any chances. Looks like we only got one upgrade. And I don't think we have any room in our multi-tool right now, do we? No, we don't. So we can't really put anything in there at the moment. We do have a plasma launcher. And a paralysis mortar. I keep forgetting I have those. Alright, moving on. So, we got to head out to space and inform Apollo what's going on. Looks like we had a traitor there. You know what? Hopefully he stays put. Because they have... Upgrades. Uh, offer to trade. What do we got? Launch thrusters, mining beam, scanner, life support, hazard, and movement. Um, let me take the movement for 200, Bob. Um, what else you got? You got pulse engine? You do. One. Two. I'm going to grab three of those. And I'm out now. Hyperdrive I'm not too worried about. But I'm going to go back to the movement module. Grab one more of those. Okay, that should be good. Nice. Very nice. Very happy about that. Because we want the movement modules. Okay, let me go in here real quick. I'm going to move these over to my ship. Let's put these in. Where's my... Yeah, there they are. Nice. That's not bad. Not bad. It's not great, but it's not It's not bad. That's much better. Yeah, most definitely. What did you have? 158. This is 231. We're putting you in there. Excellent. And that's my jetpack there. Let me put my jetpack over here and get the full complement of everybody. Good, 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 good. This is really nice. All right, back to the starship. Now, we've been wanting to upgrade the... Um, is that what I think it is? Yes, it is. That's our launch thrusters. We want to upgrade this guy. So, let me see what we get out of this. Oh, that gave us a good boost. 30 and 20. Nice. What do you got? 12 and 2. Not much. What about you? 28, 20, and 23. That is much better. 16, 6. Nope, we get rid of this one. That'll give us some nice deuterium, which we really could use, and some cadmium. Very, very nice. All right. Um, where's our... Let's see here. going to see if I can't rearrange things just a little bit. So he's supercharged right now. 97, 928, 891, 32... 928. Okay. Okay. We'll leave them all clustered together like that. It seems to do good. Maneuverability is really high right now, and that's great. Plus, it's giving us a boost, and a fuel efficiency is really what we're looking for. Maneuverability is nice, but the fuel efficiency is really what we want. Okay, good. We're in good shape. Excellent. Very happy about that. All right. Checking my recording. Everything looks like it's still going. Been a little bit uh, concerned about things lately, but we'll see. All right, I'm going to talk to Apollo again. Good work. Your attack on that factory paid off. Did you get any useful data? Uh, no. <laughs> no matter. We have what we need. What do you mean? I recorded countless signal flares. When the Sentinels started to appear, energy streams sparked beneath the planet's surface, moving from monolith to monolith. We must be on the right track. Examine these structures. They are all linked. I know it. I'll tune your scanner to the star sentinel energy signals. We shall soon have our prey. Good luck. I'll speak to you on the other side. End communication. Okay. It says to bring word to Nada and Polo. So we're going to do that. I'm just going to pull it over here. And this is a good thing to do because this gives you some more Quicksilver. Because as you know, we don't have much. We have 300. This will give us another, like, what, 150, I think. So that'll be good. Plus, we have the weekend missions that we can get done. We can get more if we want, but... We shall see. Okay. On our way. 
And in case you're wondering, yes, I did get a bunch of updates. What do you call it? Uh, building upgrades and stuff like that so I could build more stuff. So I've already gone through a lot of stuff. Anyway, what new knowledge, Traveler? Is Apollo Entity known to you? Explain Apollo's plan. A Traveler Entity is not known to Nada, yet they know Artemis Entity, who, who themselves no longer recalls Nada. You notice he's purple now. Oh, interesting. I didn't think he was for the vo Void Mother. Anyway, moving on. Uh, who's no longer themselves no longer recalls Nada. You bring news that alarm, alarms Nada. What else does our home fail to see? Nada looks troubled. They retreat into themselves. Ask what to do. Polo friend has kept us safe. Nada's carapace has been Nada's, and Nada's only, for many years, outside the cycle of data. We help others escape those who might possess, process our reality. Nada has peace here. Those who hunt us cannot see us. Nada does not want it to end. But better to understand, to know what comes for us. Do not stop on our account. He knows that something's about to happen. He knows we're up to something or that we're being directed to do something specific, and that is what he's nervous about, because he knows that things are about to happen that are, key, that are beyond his control. He could say something or do something to prevent it, but he's not going to. Let's talk to Polo. Nada is alarmed, my special... My, Nada is alarmed, my Apollo friend. Specialist Polo is green, you notice. I am not. It is exciting to see where our model fails. If we are wrong, then there are more friends than we realized. More friends and more stars. Ask about Sentinels. Novel Apollo. Apollo. Novel Apollo applies himself with the Viking, enjoys to hunt the Sentinels. Good, but it will not work. They will always come. It is beyond us to change. Everywhere our home has been, the hunters will follow. Very interesting. So he's saying that what Apollo is doing right now is beyond the abilities for Apollo to be able to comprehend. You notice we got the purple icon here real quick, folks. Just want to go over that real fast. That is a special um, mission that appears every now and then. If you see it, it's usually a good idea to do it. We're going to do that now. We're going to get not only a decent amount of units, but we're going to get 25 larval cores. And that's really, really good. We have no idea what's involved, though. No idea. Okay? So let's go ahead and give it a shot real quick. So, yeah, a little interruption in the mission. And we're going to start it. Okay, and we'll come back to Apollo in a moment. I can't pass up the opportunity to do missions like that. It wasn't there when we went up to visit them. Uh, Nada and Polo, and it was there when we came out. So it's like, just do it. I implore you to get those done, because those are special missions, and you have no idea where you're going. And it's always in the system you're in, for the most part. So it says to go to a Hadwell planet. Uh, does it say where? It goes over here. Is it going back to my planet? Yes, it is. As soon as I'm far enough away, I should be able to go there. Construction site. So it looks like we're constructing a base. Fortunately, I have a lot of materials that I've been able to acquire so I can build. Hopefully, it doesn't need anything else. It's okay. We will hopefully have this done rather quickly. And it doesn't seem to make a difference where we build it, so I'm just going to plop down over here. This looks fine. Begin construction. Put a base computer down. Will do. We're not going to keep this base, just to let you know. We're just going to get rid of it real quickly as soon as we're done. Claim the base. Once we pick up the materials. We may need uh, raw materials. We're a little low on ferrite. Uh, we do need probably carbon and stuff like that, so we'll see. Okay. Square room. Do we even have that? Square room? This, I think. Yep, door. Door. Straight corridor. Hope we have the materials to do it. Straight corridor, straight corridor. That. One. Yep, we do. Three. Okay. Biodome. We don't have any glass on us. Crap. Um, We can make some real quick. I hate to do this because you know we have a ton of it back home, right? Uh, let's see. 
Silicate, 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 pure silicate. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Working on it. We got to do a cuboid room too, so I think what we're going to do here. Let's let it build all five, and then we're going to duplicate. Alright, there we go. Almost done. There. And let's go ahead and duplicate it. Make sure I can see what I'm doing here so I can line it up pretty good. There we go. So that'll give us 15 of those, I think. There we go. Good. So we should be able to build the biodome now. There we go. And we need to do four cuboid rooms, right? So let me go down here. Cuboid rooms. I did pure ferrite. Hopefully we have all the pure ferrite for this. Yeah, we do. One, two. And we don't even have to connect them. One, two, three, four. Got them? What now? What? No, oh, you're going to go to the echolocator now. I have I don't have a hot key to get the um There we go. I just built them. Oh glass cuboid, you jerk. <laughs> okay. Glass cuboid rooms. One, two. I can't build any more. I need more silver. Crap. Alright. Which we have in our inventory over here. There it is, silver. We're gonna get a crap ton more silver. Do it one more time. Oh, it's in my own inventory right now. Yeah, that didn't go back into my ship. All right, there we go. Line these up a little bit. There we go. 300? Good. Now we can build it. So this worked out. One, two. Okay. Wow. Okay. A dish receptor antenna and kite patterned rugs? Are you kidding me? Alright. The floor containment unit, maybe. I might be able to do that. Oh, I got a kite pattern rug. What do you know? Okay, there's your kite patterned rug. We need to do two of those. Okay, dish receptor antenna. I don't think we have that. I got a lot of stuff, trust me, but I don't think we have the dish receptor antenna. We are going to go back up there to go get it. Too bad they're not in alphabetical order, huh? <clears throat> nope. How about over here? <clears throat> nope. Floral containment unit. Floral containment one. I've got number three. Nope, wait, there it is. We do have them. How many do they want? Three. One. Two, three, okay. Dish receptor antenna. I don't think I have them in here. Yeah, that's the one I think I need to go get. Nope. One more time. Okay. Rats. We were so close. Oh, wait, wait. Dish receptor antenna. We do have them. All right. How many we need? Three. Carbon. Okay. One, two, and three. We're just going to stick them in here. Ah, we did it. We did it. Okay. Good. Wow. I don't know how in the world I got that. Going to upload it. 
and it's uploaded. Good deal. So that's done. And I want these back. For the materials. Okay, good. Out we go. Got it. Got it all. And what we're going to do is delete the base. Okay. And that way it doesn't gum up the planet. Fabulous. Wow, I didn't think I'd have all the materials to be able to do that. That's great. Speaking of. Uh, let's see. I'm going to put this in the ship. Pugnium in the ship. Yeah, I'll put him in the ship for now. Wiring boom. Okay. I'm back to some semblance of normality in here, I guess. There. Alright, looks good. Okay. Very good. So, yeah, I hope you don't mind the pause in the mission. So we'll go a little longer on this particular recording. Looks like everything is still going pretty well. And we'll turn in our mission real fast. And we'll get back to Apollo. So that was just a small diversion. So again, it's it's worth it because you get usually some kind of ludicrous um, stuff. In this case, 25 of the Whispering Eggs, if you don't want to go for the Whispering Eggs yourself, is a great reward. And for you, it might be different. You notice that the mission doesn't even show on there anymore. Like I said, it's very short-lived, so if you happen to be in the Anomaly, and the Nexus shows that, try to grab the mission when you can. So there we go. Joy of Home, complete. I got everything I need. Fantastic. Okay. So we're done here. Uh, let me just take those things and move them over to my ship. I don't want them coming up my inventory here. Okay. Great for money or nanites. And I might just recover... Take care of them, turn them into nanites, because you know we're running a little low now. Alright, so, perform a scan with C to uncover ley lines. Hopefully it just throws it at the paradise planet. Wouldn't that be great? Ley line successful. It's going to move in just a second. We're going to go over here to another stinking planet, you bastage. I was hoping to go to a paradise planet, but that's okay. On our way. Alright. So we're continuing on with the Apollo mission. After a slight interruption. That's Alon Paul interrupted. It's kind of an ADHD thing, but at the same time, come on. The opportunity presented itself. Take the opportunity. Alright. Scan. Structure. Right in front of me, it looks like. Is this it? Could be. Let me just take another look from this direction. Looks like the only one. Alright, let's go ahead and land. This doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't make any sense. Let's go over here. I would expect to find an abandoned structure or a monolith or something like that. Let's land on the top of this and take a look around. If it's back there, I'll be surprised. Nope, it's this way. And it's right down there. So what do we got? It's 200 blinks away. So right in this general direction here. You see anything? I see a cave. Uh, it's nice to have better boosters for my backpack now. Over here. Do we have all these animals, by the way? No, we probably do. Oh, okay, there it is. It was down there. Alright. Uh, let's see. Memories of Cineus is and it's in yellow. Uh, can't understand the thing it just said. I don't know what to expect as I approach the structure. An army of sentinels, perhaps? Some gateway through which I'll find out, Artemis? But in the shifting structure of this monolith, I can feel something else. A story. A vision. It is already burning itself into my eyes. Activate. The Traveler. Arrival. The Traveler awoke beneath the shadow of a red star. Through the lonely cosmos they fled, yearning for purpose and meaning. 
They found an anomaly, an aberration, a door to the heavens. No Gek, no Viking, no Corvax could see it. Only the Traveler could perceive the portal, though they did not know how to step through. They did not know the secret language, the glyphs. They did not yet grasp the price of the final truth. Witness the glyphs. I am filled with the knowledge of an ancient traveler. I see glyphs in my mind. Glyphs are in purple, you notice. Part of the code I need to activate a portal. As I depart, a spot of sentinel drone in the distance. It moves away quickly. All right. You're starting to learn something here about how things are working. Um... Should we escape them? Should we shoot them? This guy lobs balls at me, so I want to take him out quickly. We will run, mind you. Where'd the canister go that he dropped? I'll grab that while I'm waiting for him to come out from behind his rock. Okay, so it's going to go... With an upgrade, right? Arriving. Where? Oh, where? Let's look in this direction and let them appear over there. And then we're going to go back the other way. I'm not going to fight the next level. There they are. Let's go. Let them search. There we go. We should be far enough away. Where's our ship? Uh, ship's over here. Another hill. I'll head that direction. Okay. We only got three more sentinels, so it shouldn't be any big announcement or anything like that. Okay. Here we are. Alright, what do we get, by the way? Let's check. Uh, oh, got two. Two glass. We got an antimatter. That's good. And we got one of these we can sell. Or we can store that. Put that. We got some pugnium. Okay, good. What's next? Scan with C. Ley line link detected. Tracing to source. To the left. To the left. To the left. There we go. How far out? Nine seconds. It's not going to take long. Okay. And is it approximate? Closest building we've got is out there. Oh, nope, but it's an actual building. Oh, it's one of these buildings. Okay, good. All right. Historical building. Ruins of Lacadia Rasset. Gekplat. And a language it says him, and it's the only word I can recognize. As I approach the structure, I feel that same burning sensation in my eyes. There is nothing to read, and yet I am more aware of these words than anything I have ever known. Activate. The Traveler. Sin. The Traveler found a way. They always did. The first drone screamed when it was cut open. Within the shattered memories of Sentinels, the Traveler found the glyphs they needed. They passed through the gateway, emerging from the face before the face of Omnipotence. The Traveler asked the Atlas how many worlds there were left to visit. They had seen so many in their life. They did not wish to die before they saw them all. And the Atlas answered. Hold on. Eighteen sextillion four hundred forty-six... Quadrillion seven hundred forty-four... Trillion seventy three billion seven hundred nine million five hundred fifty one thousand six hundred sixteen planets more than can be seen in any lifetime. It was impossible to explore the universe before the traveler died. Witness the glyphs. I am filled with the knowledge of an ancient traveler. I see the glyphs in my mind, another piece of the code. I think of the Atlas. I have encountered this name many times in my travelers travels, yet its nature true nature still eludes me. The vision fills me with fear. All right. You are learning about the very first traveler. Keep that in mind. That's what we're doing. We're learning about the first traveler, and we're getting glyphs based on said traveler. I'm going to get some words while I'm here. Uh, there should be another one up top. There it is. Fluent, 20 words. 
And there's the second one. Okay. There should be no more here. That should be it. It's usually two for this structure. Okay. So we need to do a scan for the third one. Wrong button. There we go. Ley line acquired. Off we go. How far out is this one? Five seconds away. And it should be an exact location. There we go. Looks like we got another monolith. Three words here we can grab. Let's grab them while we're here. It's always good to get extra words. You can start understanding the creatures as they talk to you, so it's a good idea. Alright. Pillars of Gabuli. Don't understand the language there. Everything here is tinted and with that same red, the same um, unobservable crimson that fills my vision when I blink. I can only hope this structure holds the final glyphs, that my trial at these ruins is nearly over. Activate. The Traveler. A purpose. The Atlas told the Traveler they were the first of their kind, that a multitude would follow. Each would be endowed with the same noble soul, each able to travel from planet to planet in eternal solitude. The first traveler rejected the gift of the atlas. This was not what they hoped for. What was the purpose of infinity if you could not see it all? If you were alone, if you would one day die? The first traveler cursed the atlas and claimed that they would find a way to survive no matter the cost. All of these worlds, all of time itself, it would be for the travelers to witness. Witness the glyphs. I am filled with the knowledge of an ancient traveler. I see the final glyphs in my mind, the final portion of the code. Okay. So we got there. That's where we needed to be. Um, very good. So we need to move on. We got all the ley lines. Let's recover three of three. What we need to do is find a portal, right? Did we scan? Try it again. There we go. Thought we scanned. How far out is that? Okay. 825, we're going to go ahead and take the space path. Pulse our way there. There we go. It's called the Leap in the Dark. So, it's interesting how the Atlas told them there's going to be more travelers. But the funny thing is, I have the theory that travelers are being pushed into this universe by the Void Mother, and that we are originally from that universe, and we are spies. But we are trying ways to destroy or weaken the Atlas in order to make room for her to come, or make it able for her to come into the uh, into this universe. So, yeah, he knows that they're coming. He, The Atlas recognizes that there's an issue going on. There's nothing he can do to stop it. But all he can do is slow us down and prevent us from getting there. Traveler Anomaly confirmed. Memories of Rakajura. We're at the, we're at the uh, portal now. Breach, breach, breach. I approach the portal. I think of every passing thought and idle wish that led me to this moment. Within this gateway, I might find Artemis. I might find the source of the Sentinels. I might find a whole new universe. But it is more than this. This is not fate. I am making a choice. A leap of faith that somewhere out there in the dark... I will find who I meant to be. I put the glyphs. I step forward, not knowing what I will find on the other side, but I feel it deep in my heart, the call towards a deeper truth. Hopefully you're picking me up okay. <laughs> this will be the start of everything. Reminds you of a TV show from about 20 years ago, huh? Anyway. And here we go. Enter the portal. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Beginning of the end. Hold on. Hopefully I don't crash my computer doing this. There we go. And we're through.
So you'll notice that, first of all, our ship is nowhere present. We're on a, a weird planet. Take a look around. There is probably at least one creature that you can discover here. This is an anomalous world before you get yanked away. There we go. Real quick. Oh, wow. Yep, nothing more to see. And I don't see any glyphs, glitches, pardon me, that we can grab. I was hoping we could grab one or two, but I don't think we have any here. Nope, Atlas Protocol initiated, 16's all over the place. We don't even know what planet we're on, to be honest with you. It's not giving us a planet, it still thinks we're in our system. So that's how crazy this is. So we can't even claim the anomalous animals. We will in a moment. Oh well, so be it. We're about to get pulled out of here. And there we go. And here we are. And you'll notice once again, no ship. Alright. These things usually teach us words, but there's only a couple here that you're going to learn. Atlas and Traveler, and that's it. It won't teach you any other words here. Um, you can try going to these things, which teach you words normally. I'll show you real quick. But as you come to each one of these Atlas locations, I would recommend doing this. Just hit all these little pockets, uh, pocket half... I don't know what you want to call these things. Little balls of light. Just hit them one at a time. You can't pulse. You can use your uh, jetpack, but that's about it. You cannot run. You can, and you can run, but you can't thrust. Oh, can't go up. That is a landing pad. Let me go over here real quick. And here. I think that's it. That's all you get. And again, you'll notice I didn't get any words out of any of these. Normally you can. There's another one up here. I think this one gives us the word traveler. Yeah, there it is. Okay. So you get two words here. So just go for the ones that are on the path. But for future reference, and every time you come to one of these, that's what you're going to get. I want to try something here. I don't know if this will work. You're going to get to witness us doing this. Not dancing. I think it is... No, not that one. That looks like it would be a good one to do. Oh, wait a minute. Do it again. There we go. What do you think? Oh, I definitely took a picture. You know I did. I'm just waiting for it to reply. There it goes. It's responding now. All right. Give me half a second here, folks. Because unfortunately, I can't always rely on that one. Yep, looks like we're going to have to do that one. I accidentally deleted the other picture I took. And... There. I like that. <laughs> Alright, by the way, these two little balls at the end, search them, you'll get some warp cells out of them. Great for regular ships, good to have them. They're free, take them. Talk to the Atlas. You're not going to understand most of what it says, but we'll try. The text blinks before me. It awaits in input. I'm going to say hello. Hello, world. Atlas is, by the way, you notice it's in purple this time. It's very odd. But what it is, is you are saying these words. So it says Atlas, but let's see what happens. An audio recording plays, echoing out across the vast interface. We were once travelers. We once aspired to more than dirt and dust. The audio clicks. Time passes. Show me a world, Atlas. Show me something no one has ever seen before. The voice ends. The interface grows silent, still and silent. It awaits a command. Now, I wonder whether it's the Atlas saying these things or whether these are recordings from when the Void Mother was speaking to the Atlas at one time in the distant, distant, distant ancient past, if you will. 
Let's perform a diagnostic. Wow. Uh, yeah, one billion nine. No, no, not even more. One trillion nine hundred forty-six billion two hundred eighteen million nine hundred twenty-one thousand two hundred twenty-one years since last diagnostic. Sixty-four percent of worlds operating within expected parameters. Sixty-four percent. That's it. Two million six hundred eleven thousand three hundred eighty-four actionable obs observations awaiting analysis. Subroutine Sentinel purple again. Status error null value. Subroutine, glass, purple. Status, operational, 4,182 breach attempts. Really? I think it's a lot more than that, um, considering all the travelers that play, like yourself. Subroutine, traveler. Oper uh, status, operational, 458 critical error warnings. Exomind, structural integrity, compromised. Immediate repairs required. Initiate personality interface? Uh, yeah. Yes for green. No for, you know, red, but I'm going to go with this. Traveler. Reality fades. Everything does. My body, my voice, my soul. All of it speaks to me. The Atlas stands, stands before me in all its might. I want to ask about Artemis. I want to find them, but something is happening to me. I need to get out of here. I need to... What do you think? Scream? Rejoice? Submit? Let's... Scream. I try to scream, but I have no mouth. No form. And that's it. And that's the entire audience you get with the Atlas. Very interesting, huh? Now again, everything was in purple, so I wonder... I don't... I mean, the Atlas has always been red. Everything that's ever said has always been in red text. So I wonder to myself, really, what we're looking at here. Well, guess we'll find out. Or maybe my whole analogy of things is incorrect. Maybe purple is related to the Atlas, and red is the Void Mother. I don't know, but we shall see. If so, I'm going to have to change my uh, coloring on my main character. I use yellow a lot, of course. Uh, gold, if you will. Uh, black, but I also like... Uh, very interesting. We are on this planet. First contact. Where in the world are we? Let's find out. So supposedly, we're in a completely different system that I've never been to before. Fascinating. This is the system we're on now. I'm just going through real quick. These are systems I have been to. Nope. 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 Uh, we haven't been to that system yet. Hey, get back there. I'm not done yet. And keys? And there's no other system in here. So it doesn't show us the planet that we discovered the one life form on. So that is really interesting. So here's where we are right now. Okay, let's go. And apparently there's three creatures here, and that's it. So let's grab them if we can. At least two appear to be flying creatures. That's plants. Oh, come on. Stop flying so low. There's two. Oh, there's three. They're all flying creatures. Excellent. That's everybody. 750 extra nanites. I'll take them. All right. So where's our ship? Our ship is over there, and we may be damaged. So let me check it out. Let's grab some oxygen while we're here. Wrong button. There we go. Discovered all the species on one planet. Really? I could have swore we discovered it on more than one planet, but I guess I've been having a little trouble with that, haven't I? Alright, so there is our ship. All the way down there. May be damaged, it may not be. We're going to find out in a moment. I could have called it to me, but... We're almost there. Let's just keep going. Huh. Just like when I started, right? Let's grab the four oxygen plants since we can. There we go. So what do we do here? What do you think? I think we need to grab some stuff. And then we're going to end this episode. 
Got some nanites. Some condensed carbon. Gonna go through all these containers real quick. Projectile ammunition, we could always use that. Grab technology. Great. Got everything we need. Probably hit the ball too. Let's finish this out with the ball. Iteration. All in purple noticed. Iteration, something deleted. It's in purple. Boundary, boundary separation failure likely. Vessel 16 emptied. Cause sentinel intervention. Deliberate transfer. So, analysis. Fresh iteration generated. Anomaly containment prepared. Uh, we'll broadcast. Broadcast received. Traveler anomaly detected. Anomalies compliant. Position log. System integrity scan initialized. Okay. So we are back. So guess what? We have to locate and board our ship, which we just found our ship. Hold on. I escaped to my ship, glad of something familiar in this strange world. Where has the portal taken me? I was caught in the gravity of that infernal machine, not strong enough to resist. It identified itself as Atlas, the entity so many worship and fear. I saw no sign of Artemis, no trace of the Sentinels. Why did I even step through the gateway? Why did I follow this path? So it was it to rescue Sentinels, to kill rescue Artemis, kill Sentinels, or because I can. I like the last one, because I can. I tell myself that I do all this because I can, that I do not really care about Artemis or about Sentinels. Perhaps this is true. Perhaps I need no higher purpose. As I stare at the console, an opportunity presents itself once more. There is an inbound transmission emerging from a location on this very planet. Okay. And it should show up in just a second. I'm going to let it do it. Oh, wait a minute. Communicator. You are not alone. The signal appears to be coming from this very system using the same words that led me to Artemis so long ago. Could it be them? Did Artemis meet the Atlas as have I? As I have? In transmission. Okay, so it's going to show me that location first. There it is. Signal tra echo traced. All right, before we go, out of the ship. Location is back that way. Okay. So we're going to be heading there, and we're going to be doing that in the next episode. So I want to thank you all for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons, and we will see you guys in the next episode where we'll be picking this up. Take care, everybody.